you doing? What's going on with you? Karen gets checked by neighbor through a doorbell. The future of anti-Karen warfare is finally here. Are you tired of dealing with your neighborhood Karen in a face-to-face -face confrontation? Worry not, because the future is here. This man caught his neighbor flipping his rug upside down because he had the F word on it. So next time she passed by his digital doorbell, he put her in check. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you pick huh? my rug back? Can you pick my rug back up? Because I saw that you flipped it over early. It was not bothering you or anyone. Imagine walking around your building and then suddenly you hear someone speaking, but there's nobody there. Then you look and there's like a guy in the little screen. It's just hilarious. Sir, I don't think it's appropriate. It does Sir, not matter. I live here. This is a. It does not matter what you uh, deem appropriate. Nobody else has said anything about it. It does not give you the right to touch anything on my damn porch. You can go up there and tell your goddamn husband to come see me when I come home. I'll be home at 530. Make sure you out. Make sure you're there, ma'am. So you come down and talk. Take your shake ass upstairs. And she returns. So do you want to talk to me again? How can I help you? Look, I'm not trying to be ugly and I'm not trying to cause any scene with you whatsoever. We live in a family environment here. I have children here too. To me, having the F word on your doormat is not respectful of anyone that lives here. And it's not respectful of you to touch my property. It's not bothering anybody. I have my neighbors across the hall. I'll pay you for your mat. I will pay you for your mat, but get that out of here. I don't know what made you change it to something so ugly as that, but I, I'm, I'm not going to... No, you know, you, that's yeah, not the important I've heard you issue. stand in front of my ring doorbell and talk about me, which was inappropriate of you. When you know, what did I say about you? I haven't said anything. Ma'am, you can lie to Jesus Christ if you feel that is the truth. I don't care. You have talked about me in front of my ring doorbell. I have proof of it. I have no reason to lie on you, make anything up on you, ma'am. So please, you could just move away from my door. Do not touch anything. You have been reported to the office. Thank you. Have a nice day. Get a life. You get a life. You mad old boy. I got a life. You don't. It's Apparently you bad. don't, you old heifer. Get on up them steps. I mean, the mat did have the F word on it. I can completely see why someone with small children may not want to see it every single day, even though small children curse way more than we do. But she probably should have just gone and spoken to him about it first, instead of just flipping it away. So what do you reckon? Who's the Karen here? The strange man in the teleprompter or the redhead? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you all next time. Rock and rollies. Hey, how you doing? What's going on with you?